Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana, and I am an international flight attendant that has been stood down for a while. So I'm in New Zealand at the moment and can't really give you a lot of layover content right now, can I? However, I can give you some ethnic content. So you probably guessed by the spelling of my name that I'm Serbian. And um, as much as I love living in New Zealand, there is one thing that they lack in, and that is Serbian food or anything in the Balkans, really. I was starting to get a little homesick, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just want some Serbian pastries in my life, and I don't think that's anything that you should judge me for. Yeah. So I've officially been in New Zealand for two years now. In March, it's going to be three years actually. That's insane to me that I've been here this long and I've only managed to accumulate like five friends. So one of the things I miss about my layovers in Australia is that there were some Serbian restaurants. I remember I went to Melbourne. Um, there was a couple of restaurants there. There was the Balkan Butler in Sydney. But when I would Google what's in Auckland, nothing comes up or something does come up and it's been shut down for two years. So that was a bit of a bummer. Anyway, this intro is getting a bit long. This video is me going to a Serbian bake sale. I found out there's a Serbian Orthodox church not too far from me. And once a month, they have a Serbian bake sale where they sell Serbian goods. So I don't know if the event for it is old or not. and because no one's replied to me to confirm that it's still happening today, you know, with like COVID and stuff. New Zealand's pretty good with that. We're pretty much over it. But I don't know if it's open. So I'm about to drive about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, we'll see. And um, I'm gonna take you with me so you can experience the same joy I'm feeling as I'm going to this place. I hope it transcends through the camera. Don't let the monotone voice fool you. I'm very excited. But anyway, let's just jump into it. Gotta grab my sack of coins. Okay, so I'm back from the Serbian bake sale. And look at my spread. Okay, so what we've got here is spinach and cheese uh, pizza and then we've got normal cheese pizza or you can call it burek it depends like i don't know and then we've got here these are probably my favorite things in the world they're called kifle and i already ate one because i have no self-control but that's okay um there's still two left um and then we've got here some baklava and a chocolate torte. and then i've just got some ava that i um bought yesterday so usually pita is made with cheese or cheese and spinach or with some minced meat or potatoes or even apple sometimes to make it sweet i prefer the meat one and what we usually do would eat it with like some yogurt that's like a drinking yogurt and it's so you can basically get this these all around the balkans like in any food shop any bakery you will get these bad boys one thing I'm really disappointed in that they didn't have, I think this is probably sold out because I came too late, was the Russian hats. That's, those are my favorite things. Every time I'd go to one, one of my friend's lovers, they would always have those little Russian hats and they're so good. But yes, I think what well, the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is the kifle. I already had one, so I already know that it's really good. It's basically pastry with butter. You can have them with white cheese. My mom usually makes it with yellow cheese, like just any like Colby cheese or something and ham. I don't think that's traditional, but it's so good when it does. So I'm just gonna get some Ivard. If you don't know what Ivard is, it is the best dip ever. It's roasted peppers, roasted eggplants, and I pretty much have it with everything. And I only found it in New Zealand recently at Fruit World, and apparently you can get it at some European shops. So once I found it, my life was complete. But yeah, let's try some. It reminds me of home, but like Perth home, where my mum makes it, not Serbia home and Montenegro home. One of the reasons I'm so obsessed with um, Serbian food recently 
and bulk and food in general is because before COVID hit, my plan was to do a full on trip around, like a road trip around Serbia and Montenegro and hit all the beaches in Montenegro. Cause I'm, I was originally born in Montenegro and then we came to Australia when I was five months old and I haven't been back since 2013. And I was meant to go this year. I was gonna go in August. I was gonna enjoy the sunshine and that never happened. So now I've just been obsessed with serving food and I've been really trying to find it. I think it's because we don't have it in Auckland and you don't know what you, you've got until it's gone. I've just got really fond memories of Belgrade and um, just that main strip, it's called Knaels Mahalo. But, and um, I just remember me and my friend, every morning we'd go out onto the street, onto the main street and just have a uh, hazelnut iced coffee and just people watch because everything in Europe is just, all the tables are designed to face the street and just watch people walk by. And that's my best thing. That's my favorite pastime in the world is just to stare at people while I drink my hazelnut iced coffee. Got some fond memories of that. Anyway, this is really good. Should definitely try it. If you want to know where to get all this food, it's at the Serbian Orthodox Church in Point Chev in um, Auckland. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna try the spinach pizza now. Or budek, whatever you call it. I really don't actually know the difference between them. I know they're both made of pastry. But I'm pretty sure the budek one's made out of a thicker pastry. Like not this white. This looks more like a phyllo. This one's really good. Alright, I should have got more. Do you know what? I should have got more and then froze them and then have it throughout the week. Oh, probably not, that's probably a bad idea. I'm trying not to eat so much. Mm. I can't believe I've been living in Auckland two years and I never knew about this. One of the funniest things when on board is like when people just don't understand where Serbia is or what Serbia is. Because my name is unusually spelled and people always ask about my ethnicity. One of the cool things about having a different name is that it's always a talking point when I'm on board. Because every time I fly, there's a new crew. I don't know who's going to be on board. It's a bunch of 20 people that I've never met before. Sometimes I have, most of the time I haven't. It's always the same thing. They don't know how to pronounce my name and I have to explain to them that I'm Serbian. We go through a whole spiel. And they're, just, they're genuinely very curious about it. And, it, and sometimes it's like, I'll be just minding my own business. Some come, some will come up to me and they'll be like, there's an Arabic woman, there's a Romanian woman. Can you go talk to her? And I'm like, mm. different languages. We just, I'm like, I mean, we kind of have the same hand signals when we talk, it's very aggressive. But other than that, I can't communicate with anyone from the Middle East, anyone from, that's not the Balkan nations or English. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, Serbian, I love your dogs. And I'm like, Serbian. I'm like, yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. But anyway, highly recommend getting the spinach filo. All right, let's try the cheese one. I've talked enough. I don't know what I was expecting. Of course, I'm going to like this. I've had this food before. It's homemade. It's delicious and I highly recommend it. We've mm. got this superstition in Serbia. Well, everywhere in the Balkans, really. It's this thing called promaya, and then every Serbian thinks that they're gonna die from it. It's basically a draft. Any draft in the house or in the car will kill you. And to be honest, I used to make fun of my parents for it so much. If, they, if we had two doors open, like, one door there and one door over there, it would be the end of the world. My mom would get really angry. We, there couldn't be a draft. That just was, it just wasn't allowed. Don't know the history behind it. I'm gonna find out because it makes me laugh. Cause now if I'm driving with my friend and I'm driving and she's on the um, passenger side and she wants to roll down the window. Absolutely not. That draft burst my eardrums and we can just put the aircon on or you can walk. A lot of Serbian and Balkan cuisine is very similar to like Turkish, Greek and all that, those countries because back in the day, 
the whole Balkan area was occupied by the um, Ottoman Empire. So a lot of our food overlap and it's like, where, where does it come from? We don't know, because it's all the same thing. Who made it? We don't know. We're really good. All right. Now we've got baklava. When I walked in, they didn't know I was Serbian. So they were just speaking to me in English. And <laughs> I could just hear them speaking Serbian to like, when they're picking out the baklava for me to put in the bag, they're like, najveci, like the biggest slice, give her the biggest slice. And I was just like, that's so sweet. So yeah, let's try it. So yeah, baklava is very, very um, popular in the Balkans. I would say that. It's basically just like a dessert that's just like honey, frosting and all that. Let's give it a go. <laughs> that's so sweet. Oh, it's got walnuts in it as well. It's good. I think you knew that. Here, let's try the cake now. I can't remember what the actual Serbian name for the cake is because um, they had just English name placards on it, so it's just a cake, right? So it just seems like it's thin layers of sponge cake with like chocolate cream and custard. All right, so I'm probably gonna stop eating now because I need to practice self-control. It's an ongoing battle. Okay, so that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see flight attendant content, New Zealand vlogs, Serbian food content. That's, I'm a triple threat. How could you not want to subscribe? Please subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, bye.